welcome everybody to the third IQ tutorial video uh, this is going to be a very short video because it's a continuation of the agent registration uh, tutorial video that was a, that was the previous tutorial video before this one um, currently let's assume uh, you have you are done with your application naturally when you go to your profile page all you will see is just your email your rating and then your phone number everybody starts off with a rating of five so that's more like excellent and then over time you might get other uh ratings so that said if you notice the be an agent button is now missing uh, actually IQ servers have recognized that you have sent an application to be an agent and so you will not be presented with that button anymore and uh, that being said naturally if everything is okay that the documents you have uploaded are fine and okay you will get an approval and our panel will approve your request let's assume your request has been approved by our panel you actually get an email from us telling you that congratulations everything is fine so this is just a demo and so we'll give you the approvals will be very fast but naturally the approvals will take two three days if your documents uploaded are very good and accurate if the documents that you upload are not actually that good you might our support team might contact you to request for more information if those information are not really there still they are not good you might get an outright decline so the email is here to tell you to inform you about your request and it's been approved and you, you get an email saying congratulations team that's team the name on the app that i registered with they would like to inform you that your request to be an IT partner has been approved we wish you all the best as you render your service on IT. do not hesitate to contact us in case of any issues uh that's the link there's a link for the the button for the tutorial videos there there so we'll go back to the app and once you go back to the app and you go to your profile and click now it's a, it's different you have a balance and a dispute balance and you have an offline and online button you can go offline and go online you can actually check your transaction history you currently don't have any and you could actually when you click the withdrawal you have to add your bank details for us to be able to allow you to withdraw so this all will be put through uh, in the in subsequent tutorials how to add your bank and other things so stay on the channel and we'll keep you posted thank you for being an agent on ikey and we wish you all the best thank you